This is Wayne Anderson, assistant football coach at Erskine College in Due West, South Carolina. Today, we're going to talk about the divide route. I feel that the divide route is a great complement to the choice route because it is a route that the regression starts with the single receiver side. Let's talk about some fundamentals of the divide route. Outside receivers, they're lined up at the top of the numbers. Now, backside number two, his alignment is the college hash marks. So for high school coaches, that means that his alignment will be two yards inside the high school hash mark. Like choice, divide is a landmark pass concept. As you may remember in my foundations video, I talked about the differences with routes that are landmark routes compared to routes that are coverage routes. Now again, divide is a landmark route. Now an important coaching point is the split between backside two and backside three is three yards. Very important coaching point. Now let's talk about the divide route. Front side one. His route is very similar to the choice. He's taking a mandatory outside release and he's getting between the numbers and the sideline. If he gets to his, a landmark at 10 to 12 yards, and if he cannot beat the corner over the top, he's going to throw up his outside arm, and he's going to hook it up right there and find the open window back to the quarterback. Also, just like in choice, if we get a blitzer, Coming off from the perimeter, he's going to take his three-step drop, or excuse me, three-step, and then he is running the slant route. Backside. Backside one has the same route in the sense that he is, like frontside one, he is outside releasing, and he is between the numbers and the sideline. Again, if he gets to that 10 to 12 yard area and he cannot beat the corner over the top, then he is going to hook up and find the open window back to the quarterback. Now, his other option is this, if it's man coverage and he gets to that 10 to 12 yard landmark, he is going to convert that route into an in route. Now, backside two. Backside two has the streak read. If you remember me talking about the streak read in um, the foundations video. So at the stamp of the ball, he is going to work his way up the high school hash mark from being um, two yards inside. So he is outside releasing here. And again, when he gets to his landmark at 15 yards, he's going to make a decision. Either I'm going to continue to go vertical upfield or I'm going to run skinny post. Now, backside three. He has the divide, what we would consider the divide route. He runs what's called an over route. And his landmark in this over route is to the other hash at 15 yards. So if we're in the middle of the field, he would be coming to the hash mark that's over here at 15 yards. If we are in the middle of the field, or excuse me, if we were on a hash mark, he would come to basically over top of where the center would be. So his landmark is 15 yards in depth to the other hash mark. 
Now, he has a couple of different options. One, same thing. If there's some type of dog inside here, he is going to take three steps and run a slant and replace that dogging linebacker. Another option he has, that when he clears the under coverage, and he gets to around 13 yards. Now, this is probably more primarily against a two-safety high look than a single-safety high look. He can settle, settle down in that 13-yard area, throw his arm up, and work his way back to the quarterback. If, if not, he'll just continue to get to his landmark at 15 yards to the hatch. Also, if it's man coverage, when he gets to 10 yards, he's going to break it across with an in with an in route. Now, the quarterback's progression on this is that he is reading again very similar to choice. He is reading one to two to three. So he is reading vertical route first. If he doesn't like it, he's reading streak read to over route. Now, let me go over, excuse me, divide special. Now, again, if you remember from my foundation video, if we use the tag special, that means that two and three exchange responsibilities they change responsibilities so let's go over that okay divide special again on the front side is exactly the same thing we got outside release he's got to be between the numbers in the sideline and if he gets to his landmark and he can't beat that guy over the top, then he's going to throw his outside arm up and hook up. If we have any type of perimeter blitz, he is going to take his three-step slant and replace the blitzer. On the backside, same thing. Backside one, he's outside release, and he gets to his landmark. And if he can't beat that corner over the top when he gets to that 10 to 12 yard landmark, then he's going to throw up his outside arm and he's going to hook it up and work his way back to the quarterback. If it's man coverage and he gets to that 10 to 12 yard area, he's going to snap it off and run an in route. Now, again, whether it's divide or divide special, backside two's alignment is the exact same thing. He is on the college hash mark, or again, for high school coaches, he is two yards inside the high school hash mark. So at the snap of the ball, with it be divide special, that means that backside three, he is running the streak read. So he is working up the field and working up the high school hash mark till he gets to his landmark, which is 15 yards. He's going to make his decision at that 15 yard landmark that he is going vertical upfield or he is breaking the post route. Now, front side two, now he's running the over route. So, again, his landmark is 15 yards to the other hatch. So, in the middle of the field, he would be coming over here at 15 yards. If we were on the hash mark, he would basically get there 15 yards and he would be over top of the center. And so again, his responsibilities are the exact same thing. If he gets into that 13 yard area after he clears the under coverage, he has the opportunity to throw that outside arm up and hook down and settle right into that area. Like I said, more than likely, that would be more against a two-safety high look than a single-safety high look. 
But if that single safety rotates out of there one way or the other, he has the option to do that. If it is man coverage, he gets to that 10 yard landmark area and he breaks it across running an in route. And again, if there is some type of blitz off in number three or something inside here in the box, he's going to run the slant route and replace the blitzer. And again, like in choice, the quarterback's read progression is exactly the same. He is reading the vertical route, the streak read to the over route. And again, as we talked about with divide, you can you can tag the super back for either check swing or check shoot and have him run the shoot route. Now, as we talked about in the foundations, obviously the quarterback, he's angle dropping as he normally, normally would. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me at any time. You can reach me on my cell phone number at 561-886-8328, or you can send me an email at coachwanderson at hotmail.com. Thank you for your time and God bless.